The Fermi paradox prompts questions regarding the absence of any evident signs of intelligent extraterrestrial civilizations, despite the abundant number of stars and planets within our galaxy. We will delve into various explanations for this paradox, as well as critiques and alternative theories. Let us embark on the journey to unravel this captivating enigma. Enrico Fermi was an exceptional Italian physicist, widely regarded as one of the most eminent scientists of the 20th century. His remarkable contributions spanned several fields of physics, including nuclear physics, quantum mechanics, and statistical mechanics. Fermi gained renown through his experiments involving atomic nuclei and the pioneering development of the first nuclear reactor. Moreover, he made significant discoveries in elementary particle physics and astrophysics. In addition to his scientific prowess, Fermi possessed exceptional teaching skills. He possessed the ability to elucidate intricate concepts using accessible language, ensuring the comprehension of science among people from various backgrounds. Fermi's paradox, a philosophical dilemma arising from the quest for extraterrestrial life, was formulated by physicist Enrico Fermi in 1950, garnering considerable recognition in the scientific community. The crux of the paradox lies in the absence of concrete evidence concerning the existence of intelligent extraterrestrial life, despite the vast number of stars and planets in the Milky Way galaxy. Fermi proposed that if a multitude of advanced civilizations exist in the universe, then the lack of observable traces or received signals from them is perplexing. Such a circumstance contradicts expectations founded on the assumption that intelligent life should be prevalent throughout the galaxy. The scientific community is engaged in numerous discussions and debates due to Fermi's paradox, prompting inquiries into the likelihood of life's emergence, the challenges associated with interstellar travel, and potential reasons for the lack of contact with extraterrestrial civilizations. Multiple explanations have been proposed to address Fermi's paradox. For example, the rare Earth hypothesis posits that the rarity of intelligent life in the universe is attributed to the intricate conditions required for its existence. Alternatively, the Great Filter hypothesis suggests the existence of insurmountable barriers, hindering advanced civilizations, leading to their demise or inability to establish communication with us. Fermi's paradox continues to captivate scientific interest, sparking further exploration and investigation. It raises fundamental questions pertaining to humanity's position within the vast universe and the plausibility of other intelligent life forms. Various hypotheses have been put forward in an attempt to elucidate Fermi's paradox and the absence of the discovery of intelligent extraterrestrial life. Let us delve into a few of them. The Scarce Development of Life According to this idea, the emergence of intelligent life is an extremely rare and intricate process. It is possible that specific conditions, which are seldom found in the universe, are essential for the development of intelligent life. For instance, a particular combination of chemical elements, a stable stellar system and other factors may be necessary. If such conditions are scarce, then the occurrence of intelligent life would also be uncommon. Self-destruction of advanced civilizations. This notion proposes that advanced civilizations, once they reach a certain level of progress, face problems that lead to their own demise. For example, the advancement of technology may result in the creation of destructive weapons or ecological disasters. As a result, intelligent civilizations may perish before they can establish contact with other civilizations. Communication limitations. It is possible that intelligent civilizations do exist, but we are unable to detect them due to limitations in communication. For instance, these civilizations may use alternative methods of communication that we are unable to identify 
or interpret. Additionally, it is possible that intelligent civilizations are located at such vast distances from us that their signals have not yet reached Earth. The need for further exploration. Fermi's paradox may be explained by the lack of sufficient research and observations conducted so far. We are still in the early stages of exploring the universe and searching for extraterrestrial life. It is possible that in the future, as our technologies and research methods become more advanced, we will discover evidence of intelligent extraterrestrial life. These explanations represent only a fraction of the possible interpretations of Fermi's paradox. With further exploration and observation, we hope to gain a deeper understanding of this paradox and uncover potential resolutions. Fermi's paradox serves as a philosophical conundrum that emerges when contemplating the plausibility of intelligent extraterrestrial life. Despite the vast number of stars and planets in our galaxy, no definitive evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations has been discovered thus far. Plausible explanations for this paradox encompass technological limitations, communication barriers, and the rarity of intelligent life development. Nevertheless, the enigma of Fermi's paradox persists, and ongoing research within this field continues to shed light on the matter. If superintelligent civilizations exist, then life in the galaxy will be regulated. In this case, our Earth can be considered as a part of the general controlled space and represent a kind of protected reserve. At the same time, a strict principle of look but do not touch will be applied to planets like ours. We don't notice them because the more advanced alien observers watch over us, effortlessly masking their presence from us. Maybe there's some kind of rule, like in the Star Trek series, some kind of highest priority directive that prohibits super-intelligent beings from making open contact with inferior species. The cards are dealt when the younger races reach the proper level of development. Since 1961, the search for radio signals from extraterrestrial civilizations has repeatedly stopped, then resumed again. The results were invariably negative. There was no evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence. The history of such observations can be used to delineate the boundaries in deep space, beyond which the existence of technologically advanced civilizations is still likely. Today we know for certain, for example, that there is no civilization within 1,000 light years of Earth in space that generates signals in any way that we know of. Already now, we have quite real projects of interstellar spacecraft capable of speeds of about 10% of the speed of light, and such ships in the foreseeable future may well take people to the nearest stars. Any civilization with such ships could spread across the galaxy and colonize habitable planets in just a few million years, a huge period of time in terms of human history, but on a cosmic scale, it's just a blink of an eye. If there really were thousands of civilizations in the galaxy today, the first of them would have gotten here millions of years ago. As you may have already guessed, I am very skeptical about the prospect of finding extraterrestrial civilizations. Nevertheless, I firmly believe in the necessity of continuing the search for them.